how did you come to get the engagement of Mad Max? I just want that for my video. You said it on stage, but it's one of uh, how I got the job? Yeah. Basically, well, I, I I I flew to Sydney, and I, um, I I saw the movie, like I said, and I sat down with George, and he said, well, why don't you why don't you just let this settle in? And and I went to the hotel, and I got so excited, and I couldn't sleep. I was up all night, um, and I was thinking about it. And the next day, George is an amazing listener, so he just basically sat back and just looked like that. And I talked for three hours straight, what I thought the concept needed to be for the film, but then he shook my hand and he said, I want you to be the composer of this film. Is that intimidating when you just sit back like that? He, you know. he, he's the sweetest guy you ever meet, but he's, you know, he's impressive to see. He's a tall guy, you know, he's, he's like six foot or something, and he's a big guy, you know, and he's yeah. like, yeah, I mean, but then after that, you know, now I can say we became friends, and it's, it, you know, it's really nice to know. How was it working with that film? Since that film, Mad Max, has didn't have a lot of dialogue in it, so your music in it is kind of tells a lot of the story. So how was that? Like, how closely did you work with him? And very actually, close, very close. I mean, I, 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 I was in Sydney eleven times, twelve times. The last time I was there for close to 14 weeks, I, I moved out with my whole family, with my studio, with my assistants, the music editors, we, you know, just like everybody was there. And I sat with him every day from morning to night to, to tweak the music and, oh, what about this or what about that? So it was a really intense process. And even when I was not there, we had two Skype conferences per week that could last up to five, six hours per, per wow. conference. So it was, it was it's, it's pretty intense. I've never worked so intense with. Uh, you, you also have other directors that comes in, and it's like you know, Francis Zack is somebody like that. You know, when we worked on Three Hundred Rise of an Empire, he comes in, it's like, okay, now what do we got? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play you something. Okay, awesome. See you next week. Bye. Nice. You know, and then he walks walks out, and, and and George is more like, no, he wants to have hours and hours of conversations, and it's, it's, it's it, every director is different. You know. Yeah, I mean, how did you choose your instruments to do the Mad Max workout? He said that you use uh, approximately 200 instruments for the Mad Max, something like. Uh, sorry, come again. 200 instruments. Yes, how did you choose them? The instruments for Mad Max. Yes, 200. Well, you know, it, it, there's so many different things going on at the same time. So I, I, I recorded a huge amount of percussion, um, a huge amount of guitars. Um, well, a full orchestra, um, a choir in it, uh, there's a, a really big brass section, and there's a lot of electronic elements too, and a lot of sound design, and, and uh, it, it takes time to craft a movie like that. You just can't, you can't do it in a few weeks. Uh, I wish I could, uh, but uh, it, it, you know, unfortunately it doesn't work like that. Thank you.